Hi team, how are you? Um, so this is going to be a quick overview of how to work with Taiga here. So if you go to the regular tree at Taiga.io, as you see here, I'll send you a link to it. This is the main page and the dashboard, uh, if you can call this a dashboard, will actually load, right? And then once you're here, you can see, for example, on the right, you should see, for example, the UCF sets, AGSC, NASA, where I put this amazing logo that we're not going to use in patches but we can use somewhere else so uh, if you click here now um, you can see that you know this like it now the dashboard for this specific project um, and there are a couple of links that I want you to be aware the most important one for you now it's gonna be the one called backlog because here it's where all the tasks and pro and and, and um, yeah the things that you have to do they're all here Okay, so once you access this, don't pay attention to this stupid graph, okay? Because we don't have it set up correctly all the way, and we're not gonna do it, so just disregard this. Um, on the right, though, you're gonna see six sprints um, that we have. You know, we have a couple close, and then, but but anyway, th we have this one that is the the, the one that is pressing lunchbox uh, build and rover prototype. Uh, there's the FRR sprint uh there's a rover ready sprint uh in the final sprint where we should have everything completed okay so if i go to i'm gonna go to the frr i guess um so if i go to the sprint task board here there's gonna be all the tasks that we have to do they're all here in the new section oh this is maximize point it's a different one and apparently Mr. Cesar is there um, doing one of those points. But anyway, I took the liberty of assigning a bunch of these to you. Maybe you guys won't be very happy with that, but that's, you know, I, I just started doing it because I wanted to do it. Okay, so just, just get in there. If there's something that you don't like or, you know, you can feel free to just like assign it to somebody else or assign it to no one uh, and then assign yourself to whatever you want to tackle first. Okay, it's not set in stone. So. Uh, don't pay attention to what I did but in this case um, for example I would like let's say that you're gonna start working on something let's say that I am going to start working on changes made to project plan so I'm gonna grab it from here before I start I'm gonna put it right here that is in progress just so that you guys know that I'm working on it at this moment please don't have four different tasks in progress because that doesn't happen I mean you do one at a time you can do all of them at the same time um, so once you do while you're doing this so you go now to the document in the drive and then you write whatever you had to write and then whenever you're done and you want somebody to test it just put it here okay um once it's ready for test then Linz or diego will actually review it um and then once they review it and then they're happy with what you wrote and you know what it says they they will put it in close or if you guys um, didn't do as good of a job, they will put it back to new. And finally, if if you, for example, you have it in new or you put it in progress and then suddenly you don't have all the information you need, you put it back on needs info and Linz or, or Diego will actually, they should get back to you very, very soon. So I'm gonna put this back here uh, because I haven't touched anything, right? So that is the specific sprint task board and that's that's what I want you to keep in mind um, here is where all the work will happen I don't want you to go to the Kanban side because the Kanban side it's more of a overall every single thing that we have to do and it, it, it's very easy to to get lost in there so but if you come here back to the backlog and then under the sprint for example now let's check this other one um, if you go to the sprint task board then you'll see that we have multiple things, for example, like arm movement to payload, uh, preliminary schematic for rover, find batteries for both rover and lift, uh, launch rail program in sync to robot, uh, and then, you know, rover prototype, payload detection, and that kind of stuff. And you see that we have different, different tasks inside. Um, and then, you know, it's going to be the same thing. There's nothing in progress there. You know, I... I have ready for test this voltage regulator that I did um, and I closed this couple of stuff here um, you'll see that I've, apparently I do a lot but it's just because I I am putting everything here uh, uh, most likely you will 
guys are doing way more than what I'm doing. So anyway, um, if you want the details of whatever you're working on, you would like to see exactly what it is about, for example, uh, you probably want to then click on that task and see if there's any description here or attachment or something that you know that probably it's relevant to you okay um, if you need for example somebody to work with you and for example this task is assigned to you um, let's say this voltage regulator for Arduino uh, I'm gonna put um, okay it's silly if I want to watch it I don't want to watch it I'm already watching it but for example I want uh, Daniel and Alexis and Sam to actually take a look at this um, or to work with me on this so for example they they now every change that I do to this they will get notified which is a pain so just be mindful and don't add them because of adding them and that's pretty much it once once you start getting you know going into this uh, I'll try to make another video to help you out uh, but most likely you'll be just fine you you guys don't need another video but any, anyway uh, let me know if you have any questions now I'll post this in YouTube bye